So what's up guys, it's your boy Dylan here, we are back with another video, and today I'm doing something I was kind of low-key about, but um, yeah, I was low-key for a while now about this, but now I'm ready to introduce it, but it's now basically fishing, so I'm going to be doing fishing videos and all that, but um, yeah, we're just going to be going over my fishing stuff. So right here, this is the bag I use. It's like, there's a cooler in it, basically. Then in this front pocket, I have, I have a pair of scissors and like this line I cut. And there's nothing on there. But, um, yeah. I use that. And my main rod right now is the ugly stick. Right here. It's an ugly stick. GX2 with 8 pound line off of oh uh, yeah 8 pound line and I have like this little hook it came with what my knife I have but um yeah I have it on there so like I can cast it it was this part put on the kitchen I have it on there so like you can cast it and the only way it's gonna break something or something or anything is if you hit glass or you dent something or you ship something but now going through this i had this pole for about two months and it has a fiberglass tip and um yeah right now i'm using a well so the reason i have originally came off this pole it's a warm-up pole it's six something but um yeah it's the southern band warm gear yeah warm warm gear it's orange and I took that reel and put it on here. Sorry for the bad lighting, but yeah. It's a one of three reel with eight pound line. The line came on this reel already. It's a um, spinning reel. I'm getting a bait caster soon, I think. But yeah, I'm getting one for my birthday, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. So the original reel that came on this rod originally broke. The drag fell in the water. My friend was fixing it because that's when I originally didn't know what the foot to do. So yeah, well my, my friend was fixing it. And then this girl came over, picked the drag thing up, and dropped it in the water. The drag, if you guys don't know, is this part right here. It goes right there, so like you can pull the, the line out. So like a fish could pull it out or anything. But yeah, so I changed that. And then this was the GX. 220 that's the real i'm pretty sure yeah so this reel originally came with the ugly stick but yeah i changed so this pole right here originally had that reel on it which i'm gonna get another spinning reel i'm putting that the one spinning reel that's on my ugly stick in Go back on the warmth gear spin. Yeah, the warmth gear rod. But, um, I honestly, it depends on, like, what mood I'm in. Because sometimes I go for blue. Like, I will catch bluegills. And then give them to my friends to use for pike. But I'm not ready to catch a pike yet. Because if I do, I feel like my rod's going to break. So I'm going to wait till I get a bait caster rod. And then I'll go for the pike. But, till then, my ugly stick right now is the, um, the one's on there now. Oh, no. Yeah, my ugly stick is, like, my main two bait, well, spinning reel. Um, but, guys, so, the bait cast I'm getting is Flair's bait cast. If you guys don't know who Flair is, he's part of the Guggen squad. There, you should go check them out. Um, yeah, he, he uses this one pole, it's called the flare rod, it's orange, and that's his go-to reel, so I'm getting that reel, and it's, I think, so if you go on favorite.com, it's like all the reels, so it's a brand, but they're made by, um, Guggen Squad, so there's like all different ones, there's spinning, bait casting, and they have MLB ones too. But, uh, for instance, there's one called Big Sexy. It's all white. And it has, like, a cork candle and all. 
yeah, it looks very nice. But um, yeah, if you guys want to go check him out, he makes some good videos. They all do actually. But yeah, this is the originally the thing that came with the ugly stick. This was the tag. Maybe if I were to do it like, yeah, it says ugly stick on here, but I mean, kind of hard to see. Because yeah, so it has a see. So you guys can read it. It's upside down, but um. I think it, no, it's not, it's just backwards. Oh no, it fell. So this was the reel it came with. I don't have, well, yeah, I have it. I just don't have the spinning, the fiberglass tip, the other stuff, and then, yeah. That's that right now. Um, I feel like this is supposed to go like this, and then something around like here. I don't know, but yeah, so skip me that. So now I'm going into like all the baits, hooks, and bobbers. And I don't fish with bobbers usually. I mean, I fished with bobbers before, and then I didn't really like them that much. So I just stopped fishing with them, a pair of paracorn. But, um, yeah. So I have, I don't know what this is, guys. T leave it in the comments below what this is. But then I have a stringer. This part, put it through the gills of the fish. Wait, yeah. Then you put this part, you put it, like, this loop. And a, um, rock or something heavy. And, um... Then the fish, you can put the fish in the water, and then it keeps them fresh. And then moving on to the bait, I have trout bait. Got these when I went camping. They had them at the store, so I just got them. They look like pink marshmallows, to be honest. Um, they are like, like you know when you leave marshmallows out overnight, how they get that hard feeling? That's what they kind of remind me of. Then we have like all these rubber baits. We have an octopus, I think a sea hook type thing, crawfish, and like this little fishy thingy. Then I have like this little thing. I have no clue what this is, but it's just like this pipe thing I have. So this is like the fish. It's like a little fish that moves around in the water. But then the octopus. Like it spreads open to it at the bottom, so that's kind of cool. Then we have this. I have no clue what this is. I thought it was a sea thing. I'm. I have no clue. Leave it in the comments below. If not, I'll just ask my friend. But yeah, this is the crawfish. It has the little hooks. Well, the little fishy, the crabs, whatever you want to call them. But there's all different colors of those. That came from Walmart. Then moving on to the hook. Oh yeah, this is the tackle box. It's the same. Yeah. So multicolor float. Six no hook does got it. Six feet stringer. Swerve hooks. Type no. Ten split shot tackle box. Floating and okay. And yeah, so there this is what it looks like. It's just the brand that came with the pole. This originally I got that because yeah. Then I have this. I just emptied this out today. It's the uh, it's a craft thing for all my hooks. So I have uh, two different three different types of bobbins right now. I have this one. This came with the bamboo fishing pole that broke when I went camping. It's like yellow too. I don't know why, but yeah. Then I have this bobber, tinier one, which is green and yellow, like a dark green tip. Hook comes out of the bottom. And the hook comes out the top. It's not really a real hook, it's just like a hook for line. Then it's the same with the bigger one. It's usually bobbers are black, no, red and white. These were multicolored, they're the same thing, but it's not green, it's yellow and orange. Same process. The Things. So then we're getting into these. So there's like multi like different colors of these. I'm just gonna get the two 
Well, there's three doors I have right now. I mean, I I don't have that many things. I have one, two, three, six different hooks. I have this one. It's white. It's a white. Like I don't know. Like a seahorse thing it has like. There's the hook. I'll focus. Yeah, I guess that works. Then we have a green one. Same thing, just different colors. It's green, then it goes into like a yellowish color. Same tip. But and then this one. This one's all black. I've used this one before. It's like all black. This one's the most I've used. Same type of hook thing. It's more of a gray colored. But then, I want to hook myself with these. Um, yeah. I have this hook. It's a long hook. And I have no clue what this is meant for yet. But you guys can leave it in the comments down below. But, um, I have no jerk baits yet. I'm getting some of those. And then I'm getting a tight thing. Yeah. And I have this one. It's like a smaller type hook. Then, come here, this. It's like more of a curved thing, curved hook. And then, kind of the same things, but kind of weird. Like, so all these hooks are basically the same thing. They're just different sizes. Then we have a, the smallest out of all the hooks. They're very, very small. It's, the fishing hooks are very sharp, too, though. And then we have this, these. I'll get the bigger one now. Yeah, so we have these things. I think, yeah, this is for like when you're fishing, you don't want to tie your knot knot, your tight knot. Yeah, that's a small one. Then we have a bigger one. And I had a spoon. You guys don't know what a spoon is. It's like this curved thing with three hooks. So it's like a jerk bait, but it wasn't. It was curved and it was shiny. You don't put any bait on it. So it's like for catching pike and that. So I lost that Eldridge. Um, it didn't tie me a good, um, like a knot knot, like a good knot. I cast it and it just went flying in the air, fell in the water. And yeah, I haven't seen it since then. And that was like two months ago, but yeah. I'm probably going to do more fishing on this channel. Like physical fishing, fishing wise. But yeah. So right now, I just try like six, five, four, five knots on one hook. But yeah, so that's the fiberglass tip right there. So it's like very bendy, bendy. So yeah. This is my go-to rod right now. If you guys don't know how to cast one of the, the spinning reel, you basically just hold your, take this line right here. Right, yeah, this line. And you flip the barrel and then you throw it. And then you close the barrel and then you just start reeling it in slowly. Or you can just let it sit out there. And usually I, so right now I don't have any. I would be, I use my friends right now. But we use Guggen bait longer logs. They're like, so they have white ones, like all white ones, and they have black with green ones. Green little sparkle specks in it. So it's like glitter. But, um, yeah. I use mainly those, and then I'm getting two jerk baits, one for lake, one for pond. Then I'm getting a, um, I'm getting circle hooks, big circle hooks. Then longer logs. And probably a spinner bait. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Yeah, spinner bait. I don't know. And then like probably I know I'm getting a yeah. So I'm gonna be using bait caster and spinner reel. And so yeah. Oh yeah, one little other thing on this. So on this hook, uh, well on this rod, on the newer rods, I'm pretty sure there's this little thing. So when I first lined this bowl, I thought this was a hole. So you put this line through there turns out not this is for the hook right now i don't have a hook on it so if i did the hook would just come down into it and just 
clip onto it, and then you would reel all the access in. But yeah, um, yeah, that's what that's for. But um, yeah. So oh yeah, this comes off the same way with the, a normal reel. Just spin this, and it comes off. But I don't need to take it off. If I let, if I do get a new re rod or something, I'll guys let you know. But I'm also getting wine. I'm getting 15 pound test line for my um bait caster. My friend recommended it, so I'm just gonna know what he recommends. Cause he's been using bait casters for like ever. Like he he went from a spinning reel. Well, I know how we all usually start off with push buttons. I don't. They're kind of confusing at first. But spinning reels are kind of so the difference between a push button and a spinning reel and a bait caster reel. Bait caster reels are like so they're easier to bird's nest basically. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'll try to edit a picture in here. It'd be right there if I do edit a picture in there, and then so like they bird's nest and all that. But yet, with a spinning reel, they still bird's nest, and but they don't, it's not really called a bird's nest, I don't think. It's like more of where all the line gets tangled up and all that. And then the difference in the, like, hanging part, like right here, normal thing, like this part right here, the bait caster has like two, but the spinning only has one. So like, you just, yeah. And then, I know the spin, well, spinning, the rod is like this same with the push button but when you like it's like this but when you have a bait caster it's all upside down so like then i'm i usually use this hand my left hand because i'm right handed so i use my right hand to pull but people like to use it the other way so like they use their right hand to pull because that's their strong hand but with bait casters it's kind of hard to say I've never physically owned a bait caster but yeah, the spinning reel, guys, spinning reels, bird's nest, I'll, if I can, I'll put a picture right here, oh, right there, actually, and then a push button, I really own, not even owned a push button, I've owned one push button, that was like when I was like five, no, six, seven, or eight, um, no, I was like when I was seven, I think, yeah, um, I went, mean, we went to, they were at um, all these. My uncle got me one because he had one and I didn't have one. And I didn't know. Well, he just wanted to get me one, but he already had all the baits and all that. So they're kind of weird at first if you're used to like a bait caster or spinning. So you press the button, throw it out, and yeah. I honestly don't even know how to use it. But if I can, I'll put a picture right here. Like right there, hopefully. Um, But yeah. Um, so, that's basically all my fishing stuff for today. So, yeah, if you guys are new here, make sure you turn on the post notifications, like this video, and share. And make sure you all subscribe, because when you subscribe, that means you guys want to see more of my, like, more journeys with fishing and all that. So, yeah, um, I'll let you all go, and you'll see me next video, so... Goodbye.